So now what we need to do is that we need to create the function that's going to be executed upon going to this URL. So as you can see here, I have here said views.index. So what is this index? This index is the name of the function that I want to execute upon going to this page. So let me head on over to the views, the views that's inside the blog. So if I open up the views, you'll find that it's empty. There's nothing here. So we need to create that function. We need to create a function called index. In, the, in this views, we need to create a function called index. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to create a function called index in, in, this, uh, in this file. So here I'm going to say, here in this file, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say def, def, and then index, index. In order to, to uh, in order for this function to get executed upon going to, upon going to the page. So here I'm going to say uh, def uh, index, and then I'm going to say request, request. I'm going to say request. And then this function, what this function is going to do is that it's going to return something. So in order to return something, we need to say return. And since this is a web application, we need to we need to use the HTTP response. We need to return a response. We cannot print something. We need to return a response. Therefore, I'm going to here say, I'm going to first import the response class. I'm going to say uh, from Django, from Django.http, import import HTTP, HTTP response. So this HTTP response is going to allow us to return um, uh, a response, an HTTP response. So here I'm going to say HTTP response, and then this response takes the following. It takes what you want to return. It takes a text response. So let's say this is my first URL. Let me now save everything. Let me click here on File and then Save All. And then let me run my application. And make sure that you don't have any errors here. Here it's complaining because here it didn't, it didn't know previously. It didn't know that we have here an index. But now the error will be gone because we have here now an index, an index function in the views. Let me now open up my terminal and make sure that the server is up and running. So here, let me open up my terminal. I'm going to click on view and then terminal. And uh, make sure that the servers are up and running. As you can see, this is my server. 127.0.0.1, 8001. Now in the browser, let me refresh and see what's going to happen. So if you refresh, you are going to get an error. Why? Because the URL, remember, let me show you this. The URL, if you open up the URLs, you'll find that the URL for the blog is, your, is, is blog forward slash, blog forward slash. So if you go to blog here, if you type blog dot uh, forward slash and then hit enter, guess what? You are going to get this message. You are going to get, this is my first URL because this is my first URL. The, the URL is blog, which is going to use, which is going to use this. It's going to use this. Uh, this function, this index function, which returns, which returns, this is my first URL, which is this, which is this is my first URL.